Hello everyone, in this video I would like to show you how you can mount one of these C8 expansion drives on a Linux computer without the UAS kernel driver. So first some context, by default, um, so this is a Seagate expansion 6TB uh, drive, um, but the same principle applies for any of Seagate's external hard drive enclosures. Uh, by default when you plug one of these into a Linux computer, it will use the UAS kernel module, that is um, USB attached SCSI. Uh, for the file transfers. Now normally UAS might be a good thing. Uh, I'm pretty sure it helps accelerate some file transfers. Uh, it used to be called UASB, USB attached SCSI protocol, I believe, on some motherboards. Essentially, um, th th that part's fine because SCSI is like a regular communication protocol that's being used on hard drives, SAS being serial attached SCSI. Um, but uh, so there are reasons though you might want to mount one of these without uh, UAS. Namely, if you have the UAS kernel driver, you won't be able to use uh, smart mount tools to get any smart data off the drive. So if you've plugged one of these in and you've tried to see the drive hours or if it has any bad sectors using something like um, smart CTL, uh, which is smart mount tools, you will notice that it doesn't work because the UAS kernel driver doesn't support also sending smart information. So if you want to get the smart information, you need to disable the UAS driver and use the fallback driver. So uh, let me show you how to do that. Um, first up, obviously, I'm going to go plug this uh, drive in. All right, so I've gone ahead and plugged it in. You should probably just run the commands I'm about to show you before you plug it in because you're going to have to unplug and plug it back in for it to take effect anyway. But I just wanted to show you the process first. So if I go ahead and do an LSUSB to list all my USB devices, you will notice that here I have Seagate RS LC desktop um, HD 5 terabyte. The model number isn't picked up correctly. That's all like that's fine. It's just because it's looking up this device ID, which happened to be first registered here. Now, in fact, it happens to be the case that um, the device ID, oh, okay, so OBC2 is Seagate's identifier, and it turns out that 331A is used for all of their expansion and backup plus drives. So I have um, used 10 terabyte backup plus drives. I have used six and eight terabyte expansion drives, and they've all had the same ID. Either way, here's what we're first going to do. So first I'm going to, again, unplug the drive. Um, we can, of course, um, if we were to check like our kernel modules, we will see that we do have the UAS and USB storage uh, modules in use. Obviously, we want to run this drive without UAS. Now, oh, before I do that, I would like to show you. So if I do an LS block, I have my uh, drives. So this drive is mounted as SDC. It's a ButterFS root partition. So, But if I do sudo smart CTL, dash a slash dev slash stc you would expect that um, i would get the smart data but instead we get this error um, smart ctl okay uh, but read device identity fail scuzzy error unsupported field in the scuzzy command and that's because we're using the scuzzy access mode with uas now let me go ahead and unplug this now what we're going to do is we're going to tell the kernel to not use the uh, uas driver for mounting this hard drive. So first what we're going to do is we need to um, remove the modules. There are two ways of doing this. You can either do sudo modprobe dash r um, or you can do sudo rm mod. They will both do the same thing. Now we're going to remove two modules. First we need to remove USB storage. Uh, make sure you don't have any other USB um, drives plugged in. All right. Um, so we're first going to remove the UAS uh, kernel driver, and then we're going to remove USB storage. That's my bad. I accidentally um, got the order wrong. UAS uses the USB storage driver, so you need to remove UAS first, then you can use remove USB storage. Um, now we want to add those back, because otherwise, um, when you plug your drive in, it'll be added automatically anyway. But we want the USB storage uh, um, kernel module to not load the UAS in um, to ban UAS for uh, the USB storage device. So what we're going to do is we're going to go sudo mod probe, which is how we would normally load a driver, uh, or kernel module, I should say. They don't have to be drivers. Um, USB storage, we want to load. And we're going to add quirks. And our quirk is going to be the drive. So obc2 colon 331a. Obviously, I've taken notes on this, uh, colon u. So here's how I got this. If you look, uh, I'm not sure if it's in my history right here. Yes, it is. Um, so if I look over here, my Seagate drive was um, listed as OBC2331A. So we're going to take that um, vendor and uh, product ID, add it. Oh, oh dear, we did not. I did not mean to paste that. No. Um, uh, and then colon U tells it to not use UAS. So I can mod probe this, and um, this will load the driver back. Now I'm going to plug the hard drive back in clear the uh, terminal output. 
All right, now when I do LSUSB, the drive is back. If I do LS block, we should probably slash dev slash SD. But now if I do sudo smartctl dash a slash dev slash stc, boom, there we go. <laughs> Sorry, we can see the drive statistics being printed. And in this way, we can see that uh, this drive, in fact, contains a regular Seagate Barracuda 3.5. Uh, with the device in the model. Hopefully I remember to blur out my serial number so that you guys don't screw me over in the RMA process. Um, there we go, 5400 RPM. Um, and we can read all the data. So from here we can get that we don't have any reallocated sectors. That's great. No pending sectors. Um, oh, if anyone here is looking at this, you will notice that some Seagate drives do some funkiness here. Um, if you were to shuck this input internally, that, that's all fine. Um, for example, on some Seagate drives, you may see that the raw read error rate is exceedingly high, but in fact, it's just okay because it's, notice how it's the same as the hardware ECC recovered. That's just the total um, operations. Anyways, that is all for this video. This has been how you can um, use mount Seagate external storage devices without the UAS driver so that you can use um, smart monitoring on them. Thank you for watching. Have a great day.